Okay, now let's do something fun. Let's make some dynamic navigation. Uh, we get to drag and drop stuff, which is cool. So we'll come into our content section and all of the pages of the site live in here and the folder structure and subfolders create a nav tree automatically. Uh, so the easiest way to create a couple of pages is we'll either use the control panel or files are a little bit faster. So I'm, I'm really leaning heavily towards doing everything in files as far as uh, development goes in this series because even if it might feel more awkward at first, once you learn it, it is quicker. Uh, I'll make sure to show you how to do everything in the control panel as well, but let's continue on. So let's take uh, this index page and let's create a new, uh, we'll make the about page. All right, so we'll do new file about index.md. Now each folder creates a, um, a page, you know, a section in the site, and we'll just set title page for now. And we'll leave it literally at just this. And let's not hit the browser at this point. Okay, so we'll open this in Finder and now we can create a few duplicate pages. Once you hit it in the browser, it'll create that unique ID and then you'll need to remove that as if you copy and paste. So we're gonna have home, so we have three other, four other sections, right? So we'll have home, services, about us, and actually, yeah, uh, homeowner guide, my terrible accounting, did I miss that? No, about and about us, that's what I did. Okay, so contact us. Cool, all right. Now we can hit the page, pop open our code editor, and you'll see that those IDs have been generated, right? So that's how you know things are working. So we've done that, now let's give them titles about us. Contact us. Is it plural? Homeowner guide? Yeah, that's fine. And services. Close those, refresh. Obviously, nothing's going to change. Okay. Now we're going to come to our layout file. And that's right here. Now we our nav is in that partial, so we can go there. And this is a hard coded part. So if we do this nav, let's leave that one. That's a little bit, it's treated separately, right? Nav, and then inside here, do URL, title, and refresh. What happens? Sweet, page, contact us, homeowners guide, and services. Now, which one is left as page about? We'll come back over here, we'll refresh, and voila. Now, you'll notice two things. First, this is not the order that they were in, and it's because we haven't given it an order yet, it's just going by alphabetical. And second, the home page disappeared. Now, by default, Statomic does not include the home page in your nav tag, and that's because sometimes people want to do, and myself included, uh, don't want it in that list duplicated. You might just want the logo to be the home page. So you just add include home equals true, come back and now home's included. And that'll bring in, you know, the, if you rename the homepage, whatever you, you renamed it, it'll include that. Okay, so the second thing is the order. And basically, if you give uh, the folder names start with a number, or if you add a number to the beginning of each of these folder names, that will represent the index that they belong in. So I believe it was, uh, let's see, about contact homeowners. It was, yeah, about services, homeowner's guide and contact us. And well, homepage was first first, right? So that will change that to the correct order. And then we could treat this button a couple different ways. Uh, let's see. We can have a condition that says, let's just remove that. Here we do if, what slug equals contact us add this class That'd be one way to do it something went wrong <laughs> let's do 
do some actual templating here. Okay, so is that the slug? Oh, good contact. Slug equals contact, sorry, hyphen, contact us. So that is probably the easiest way to do it, although it is a little bit brittle. So if you wanna make sure that'll never break, you could come in here and grab the ID of this page and say if ID equals that. Uh, so that's another option. This isn't very readable, you don't really know what that's doing, but that's an option. Or you could add something like uh, if classes do this, uh, class equals, I don't know, classes join, uh, join with a space. And then here we'll add classes, uh, right, button, what was it? <laughs> Uh, da, 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 button primary, right? That's almost worked. Join the space. Eh, I'm probably using that wrong. Cl yep, that's a typo is what that is. Okay, so that's that took this list and collapsed it. Or you could just do classes, like make it a string. That works too. You know, it's it's kind of up to you how you want to manage this stuff. Since it's only one, um, I tend to opt for the most readable, right? And so I'm just gonna go with the first one. If contact us, button primary. And that's clean. Now I know like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's the last one. All right, it's the contact, it's treated special. Uh, actually, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll tell you this. This is this is probably the most flexible one. Uh, hide from nav. True, and then come down here and say, roll this back a little bit further. And then we're gonna do a condition here on the nav tag. So let me show you where to reference these. They're in the docs under conditions. And you can use all of these on really all of the core tags like nav, collections, pages, etc. Okay, so my field and we're gonna give it a field name. Let's give it a list. Is or is not. So we're gonna make sure that field name isn't false, right? Or that would probably be the best one. Not set, let's see, we called it hide from nav, right? So we'll do hide from nav, isn't false. Oh, sorry, hide from nav isn't true, right? Yeah, because of the way we worded that. Okay, so now what we've done is we've excluded the, hot, the contact us page and we've loaded it in this way. This way you can come in here and say like, maybe we wanna hide the homeowner's guide. Hide from nav is true. So we've now hit that page. So that's pretty flexible. I would uh, connect that to a uh, toggle switch in your field set, and then that'll make it pretty easy. Okay, so we've done that. We've got the button, the nav's all set up. We just, we've got the order correctly. Now let's go into the control panel and take a look at what happened. So we'll go to Saratoga dev slash cp we'll log in we'll go to the pages and now you'll see that they are in fact in this order home about us services homeowners guide and contact us okay now we can just reorder these here so we maybe want services first homeowners guide up here and we'll save changes refresh and that'll be reflected uh also contact us doesn't matter where we put it now because of the way we've set up that page whoops save changes so it's always gonna be at the end, which makes sense because visually we want that connected to the right. So we'll just put these pages back where they belong so it makes the most sense. Services and to guide contact and change. Cool. We now have a fully dynamic navigation and we can visit these. It's just, it's gonna load the default template. So let's take a quick look at what that is so we know what to expect. 
templates default totally empty so maybe we just add a little placeholder in here and now we'll know how to come back and actually create these pages we'll do uh i've just set up a few utility classes dark and then text center we'll add a little h1 here this way we can see what page we're on and come back visit these pages about us and the nav didn't show. Okay, so this is interesting. I didn't expect this. Let's take a look at what happened. Default template loads this and then nav partial is loaded on every template. Pages about us, I'm not giving it a template name. Okay. It's actually surprising. So let's open our debug bar and take a look. So we'll turn debug is true. Uh, this file, by the way, it's in settings slash debug, site settings debug. And then debug bar. And let's just take a look at our variables. So to make sure we're using the right template, layout is default, so that's good. Template is default. It's loaded that correctly, so that much we know. But it isn't loading the nav. And oh, I just thought of why. Come back to the nav. So we just want to add from slash, which would be the home page. Refresh. All right, cool. There you go. That's called debugging, ladies and gentlemen. I need to do it too. Let's turn that stuff. Well, I'll turn the debug bar off because that little thing kind of bothers me. I don't always need it. So I'll just turn that off. All right, and on we go.